Welcome to our new GIMP tutorial from Nighthawk Media. I'm Nathan, and well, this is the kickoff of a brand new GIMP tutorial series. And this series is about customizing cars, like for doing um, doing off like street racing and stuff. The car I've chosen is, isn't exactly a street racer car, but it's one that you can um, you can do up in that sort of fashion, like really well. All right, so I'm going to start my screen recorder. Okay, so here's the car. It's a 2009 Ford Cougar. I don't live in America, so I don't know if that's the concept or not. So the first thing we need to do is we need to duplicate this layer and add an alpha channel. Oh, I should probably tell you, this tutorial is about suspension. So we're taking the body and we're lowering it down quite a bit, about 2 or 3 inches. So once you've done that, uh, zoom in to about 12%. And we're going to start with the first thing and we're going to make a path around the car. So once you've gone around the car once, just go around again and bend all the paths. Okay, so once you've gone all the way around the car, I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to press enter to convert the path into a selection. I'm going to go select, invert, edit, cut. And we've cut away all the body, well, all the, everything except the body. Now we're going to get rid of these wheel arches to so go to your select, selection by color tool. Select a, we'll select a black. I'm going to get a green color, like a green screen. And I'm going to Make um, just color in the wheel arches and select by color green, edit, cut, select none. Next, we, next thing we need to do was we'll swap the layers around, duplicate the background layer, and add an alpha channel and hide the original layer. And we're going to zoom in to 200%. We're going to duplicate the um, original layer again. The um, I'm going to duplicate the duplicated channel. And I'm going to go select invert, edit, cut. I'm going to go to the other layer, select none. So I'm get rid of this mouse pad. Whoa, hang on. Again, draw an eclipse around the around the um, tire. Select, invert, edit, cut. Now I'm going to merge the two layers together to two li tire layers. Zoom out to 100%. Make a th a new layer. Then I'm going to get at my paths again. To make a path around the wheel arches. So that's a real simple path. Select none. I'm going to zoom out to 50%. Now I'm going to just reorganize the layers. So, yep, just like that. So it's tires, body, black, background. 
And now what I'm going to do, uh, go with your with your move tool, move the active layer, and move down the body to as far as down as you want it. I'm going to take this back. Um, our right, body's at the front now. Body layer. Yep, that looks right. So we've lost a lot of um, a lot of clearance, and we've got about I don't know one and a half centimeters left of clearance. So um, yeah, that's the final thing we need to do. Make a new layer. I'm gonna go uh, just transparency, and choose a wh white and a lighter color, lighter gray. I'm just going to make a simple background. So we're going to make a floor and stuff. Select invert and I'm just going to turn the other way. Select none. So that's pretty much our tutorial. I might make a new background later. I don't know. Might do a pretty good one. So thank you for watching, please rate, comment and subscribe. I'm Nighthawk Media and I'm out.